Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. Welcome to today's video. Where does bad breath come from? Actually, that's a very good question because if you knew exactly where your bad breath is coming from, you could solve it in a heartbeat. Sometimes it might take a while. If you need to fix something that is not working properly in your mouth, in your stomach, it could be even in your liver, your colon, maybe even your tonsils. So it's very important for you to know, first of all, where is it coming from? A lot of people treat bad breath as something that is only found in the mouth that you have to maybe clean yourself well enough, but that is not the true or the entire picture of where bad breath is coming from. So where does it come from? What are the causes and what can you do to solve it? All of this in this video for you to learn. Number one, your bad breath might be coming from your mouth. Well, obviously, if you have a, a poor hygiene and you're not cleaning enough between your teeth or, or cavity that you might be having, you're going to have bad breath. You're going to have breath that is obviously the buildup of food that is fitting in between your teeth or getting into your cavities and causing dead bacteria or food that is actually being rotten every single day to cause you a bad breath sensation and to have people smell it obviously if you're not washing your teeth correctly or you're not flossing flossing is extremely important if you do not have a good flossing technique you might want to learn from someone else who does or go to the dentist and see if you have cavities if you have cavities you need to get those fixed because bad breath is not going to leave you if you do not fix the rottening part of your mouth that might be causing bad breath. If you need something natural, obviously, to keep yourself clean every day, you can use even coconut oil, or you can use a mouthwash that has mint, something that can kill off bacteria, which, by the way, is not is not exactly the best thing to do when you use mouthwash or commercial mouthwash, because it's going to kill off everything you have, not just the bacteria you want to kill. All right. Number two, it might be in your tonsils. Your tonsils are glands and these glands can have cavities. And if you're eating food, this food can get into those cavities. And obviously with saliva and with bacteria that you already have in your mouth and in your system, you're going to have the rottening of food that obviously is going to cause bad breath again. And it might not be inside your mouth. It might be just a little bit farther inside, which these are your tonsils. If you have problems with bad breath, get yourself checked. Maybe it's your tonsils, maybe it's your mouth. Then if you really want to solve it, you're going to want to listen to the next causes that cause bad breath. Number three, problems with the motility of your stomach and your intestines. A lot of people have a stagnated digestive system, meaning they don't go to the bathroom every day or they eat too many carbs, too much sugar, and obviously it causes a stagnation of this digestive system. There are not enough vegetables, not enough fruits, not enough fiber, and when you stagnate your digestive system, the bacteria you have is going to start to build up. It's going to overgrow, and if it overgrows, then obviously you're going to have dead bacteria in that system. You're going to see that bad breath coming up, sometimes not even not even out of your mouth, from in, within your system within your stomach, your digestive system, and your entire digestive tube. If you have it stagnated, it's going to build up bacteria and it's going to build up bad breath. So if you need to solve the problem, make sure that it's not, first of all, first of all, your teeth or your tonsils, or in this case, your digestive system. If you need something natural that can help you improve this motility of the entire system that is going to get those bacteria systems moving inside your digestion. Look for something like, for example, metathyroid, which will accelerate that metabolic rate in your body, or maybe even something like colopgon, which is going to help that digestive system get into into par with a good motility action and something for your liver which can also be a cause of bad breath number three your liver might be the cause of bad bad breath and first of all you might say well what does my liver have to do with my, my digestive system i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you that obviously everything because your liver is going to receive everything you eat in order to metabolize it, pack it, and distribute it throughout the body. If your liver is within a fatty state, maybe you have a fatty liver. If your liver is stagnated, it's not working well or properly. If it's intoxif intoxicated, well, obviously, you're going to see a stagnation in that digestive process, not only within your stomach, but within the entire system, including your liver. So if you have bad breath, you need to take a good look at a detoxification, maybe. Maybe you need it. Maybe you need your liver to... Uh, stop digesting too many carbs, too many uh, lactose products. All of this is going to 
cause a stagnation in your digestion and within your liver. If you need something natural that can help your liver cleanse and stay healthy, look for Thistle Essence from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com or something that can get you a cleanup also of candida, which also can cause the accumulation of bacteria, of fungus that will later on cause bad breath. Number five, it might be a dysbiosis, or in this case, sometimes even a candida infection. Candida is a fungus, it's, a, it's yeast, right? And if you have a bad equilibrium with bacteria within your digestive system, you're gonna have that yeast overgrow. If you do not have enough bacteria, you're gonna have more of the candida that I'm talking about. And if you're eating too many carbs, again, it's gonna cause bad breath because it makes that yeast overgrow. It causes a bad breath because there's bacteria that are not present or maybe too present within the digestive system, causing candida also to overgrow most more than it needs to. So be careful with keeping your digestive system in order. You have to eat many uh, fruits and vegetables, lots of green vegetables, leafy greens, healthy foods that are gonna keep your digestive system moving. It's not gonna stagnate and it's not gonna cause bad breath. If you need something natural to improve that digestive process that you might be needing in very in a very strong form, if you want, look for Colob Gone from Finland at finelandvitamins.com. Check out these other videos where just stopping. If you need some, some other information, you might find it in the channel. Don't forget to this, this, give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next video.